Yo, what is up dudes and dudettes, welcome back to the channel and as always this is of course your guy Lightliger here and today we're gonna be talking about where to exactly find these up and coming moonshot projects and the best place to find them usually is through incubation hubs more commonly known as launch pads. So in this video we're gonna be going through multiple of these decentralized launch pads where you can participate and buy at the actual initial rate and sometimes at least on these high quality launch pads the prices tend to go three or four times up even on some of these projects versus the actual initial price obviously do your own research and you know compare the products look into them also, it's very important to not to invest in projects which have been already done. There's a lot of clones in the space which are such circulating an existing idea and etc. So uh, let's get started here. So one of the first things I really want to talk about the first is Soul Starter. This is on Solana. I'm a big fan of Solana and I've been growing more and more loving it. Uh, it's been one of my favorite new blockchains as of late alongside with Luna. And having any projects on Solana as of right now makes me very excited. This hasn't started out yet exactly, but this is going to be happening soon. Uh, you have Serum and, you know, Maps, Me and Oxygen being available here. So uh, there's going to be uh, pools through distribution. And you don't, don't have to worry really about these um, high, you know... Uh, uh, high fees, Solana is very cheap blockchain to operate on and um, there's also like more basically SOS you hold, more you basically will be getting. So uh, it's kind of like a nice model which brings utility for the token. Another one which we have talked about quite a lot is Polka Starter and there has been many. Polkamon has been very successful project at least, not necessarily to price wise, I haven't paid that to attention but a lot of people are talking about it. Um, what else did we have here? We had Konomi, which is another one I've talked about before. Eternity, um, Polka Market, Super Farm. Um, I think there was uh, many others. Okay, we're not going to be completing the capture here. But basically, I do own Polka Starter tokens uh, just for the sake of the clarity. And basically, if you hold some of the Pulse tokens, um, you will be getting portion of the rewards and like dot in you know the system But it works to ethereum as of right now, which is a big hard minus for me I don't want to like lose so much in the fees on speculative projects uh, Next one we have is called pool Z and this is basically cross-chain token pools and auctions and Basically you have things that they have released like labs placent um, OTC token pools, NFT auctions. We have Polkadot here, Ethereum, Tomo Chain, Tron, Binance Smart Chain, Kusama. Um, what is this? Um, is this Cosmos? I think it is. Uh, this or the Open Protocol. I'm I'm drawing blanks right now here. And we have Neo. So basically, um, there's audits even for this one. So um, and there's a lot of backers here behind it. So another one definitely um, you want to look into and participate on and I think they're like these are you know projects which we maybe have to do like more a closer look into these into these videos I'm just going to be doing a very broad stroke on these projects and not going to details on what exactly they are about but I just recommend just doing research on them uh, next one we have a pretty popular one is uh, the BSC bad this one also had a lot of the, their native token was very successful I, th I think like why are we talking about 20x or something crazy? Um, very, very high return from its initial price. And uh, this is on Binance Smart Chain. And basically, you need to buy them to get the staking. And then there's going to be two snapshots where those tokens are basically distributed to you. So there's kind of like two different models here. One's where you buy in, one's where you hold the tokens. And by holding tokens, you will be getting an airdrop uh, to your account by just holding their native tokens. So I, I do like the both models, both have their benefits. I kind of like the airdrop more, uh, but that's not something you're gonna be seeing on Ethereum a lot. Um, then we have Duck Starter. This is by Duck Dao. Um, I actually skipped this chat tab here. Duck Dao obviously has uh, NFTs, farms, the Duck Store, uh, powered by Polkadot, Ethereum, and Binance Smart Chain. And they have incubators here. So incubator is the same thing as Launchpad, sort of a and these are actually starting in six days for Totem FY. 
Um, and a lot of, as I said, there are a lot of like, you know, projects which might be, I don't, I don't know about these cook finance. This could be just another uh, farm site. I wouldn't invest in that. Uh, and these have already sold out, by the way, the status, as you can see. Uh, there's been a couple of uh, previous projects. I'm not familiar with any of these. I've um, never heard about anything here. Labs, yeah, that's one that I've heard about. So apparently Labs has, you know, launched in multiple different places. But this is another one you maybe want to look into. I think everything here is on Ethereum though. So fees are happening definitely on there. And then we have Unicrypt. I have an individual review about this project. Another video also coming in, uh, perhaps not on my channel, but I published on theirs. And they have these initial liquidity offerings. And there's actually, you know, um, many actually through them because they have multiple chains that they're supporting here. So you can find ones for Matic. Uh, you can find ones for uh, XDAI chain. Um, so a ILOs can be found on any of these chains that they're basically supporting here. And PancakeSwap is here, for example. So th there are a lot, lot of ones that they have done in the before, but you should definitely watch my video about it to get deeper anal analysis on it. And as a last project, we have Paid Ignition. Now, I do want to say this thing about Paid. They kind of were hacked, obviously, uh, recently. And some people are saying that that was an inside job. And, you know, um, I think there are some legitimate concerns about that. Was it or was it not? I'm not completely sure yet. Um, but I haven't technically looked into it. So that's a, probably one reason why you might be a bit more careful when investing in this one. But today, actually, one of my um, followers did talk about it. So uh, paid could be, I mean, paid does a lot of different things. But um, once again, there's a couple of, you know, projects here, which I have never heard about. But um, IOs or whatever this is, these could be the next things that, um, you know, could be the next moonshot. Good investment, not necessarily, you know, most of these projects that go through these launchpads seem to be DeFi for me. And when that is the case, these are usually things that you want to get in and then sell on the profits. I don't think these are long term holds. I could be definitely wrong about that, but that's how I see a lot of DeFi projects as of right now, not long term holds. So if you're going to be want to be making profits and exiting during this cycle, definitely you want to sell them. Uh, I don't think they're going to be relevant projects in the next cycle unless there's like real good teams behind them. Obviously, not all of these launch pads do KYCs. Not all of them vet the projects that they list them. Sometimes these launch pads maybe even um, do like shadow projects, which are actually launched by themselves. So there are certain sketchy elements behind these uh, launch pads and incubation sites. But there are some good projects then again, which have, for example, as we talked about earlier, have come out of Polka Starter, which have been very successful. So um, I just thought I would be just sharing you a couple of these sites today, which you can actually browse through and maybe find the next Moonshot projects. But obviously do your own research and, you know, look into everything yourself so you can have a better idea of what's going on. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you guys in the next video whenever that may be. Till then, see you soon.